So how does one add fractions? Hi, I'm Jimmy. I've been teaching college math for nine years, and fractions are not our favorite in the world, but you know we must deal with them, and, and so hence the operations with fractions. Now, today we're going to talk about how to add fractions, and whether it be addition or subtraction, you have to focus on the denominator, because in order for you to add fractions, you have to be sure that the denominators are the same. And if they are, great, but if they're not, then, well, you have to make an adjustment before you can actually add the two fractions together. So here's a quick example for you. Suppose you want to find out what 5 sixth plus 1 thirtieth is going to be. Now, since the denominators are not the same, you cannot add the two and call it 6 over 36. That would just be completely wrong. However, because the denominators are not the same, you can at least try to find common ground between the two. And this is where something called the least common denominator becomes very important. Because what you need to ask yourself is, what number will both 6 and 30 go into? That's where the least common denominator comes in. We're talking about the smallest number that both of these numbers will divide into. Well, the least common denominator between 6 and 30 is actually 30, because 6 and 30 will both go into 30. Now, after you found the LCD, or least common denominator, you have to ask yourself, for example, with 6, 6 times what number is 30? Well, if you know your multiplication tables, you'll know that 6 times 5 gives you a 30. Now, in order for adding fractions, you have to multiply the bottom and the top by the same number that you just multiplied. So, 6 times 5 is 30, 5 times 5 is 25. Now, let's talk about the second fraction. 30 times what is 30? Well, 30 times 1 obviously gives you 30, so there's not much of a change there, because when you multiply the top by 1, by one, 1 times 1 is still 1. And so what you're really adding here is 25 thirtieths plus 1 thirtieth, and you get 26 over 30. You add the numerators, but you always keep the denominator the same, and so you have 26 over 30. After that, you may have to ask yourself, do I need to reduce? After looking at these two numbers, you see that 2 will go into 26 and 30. So dividing both sides by 2, you will get 13 over 15. And that is going to be your final answer. So I'm Jimmy, and that gives you a glimpse as to how to add fractions.